he was the one that always made you laugh and was always coming to your rescue. He was a pretty prominent drag queen here in the Bay Area and passed away um, when I was 10 years old on Christmas Day. She was just amazing. She was too young. She was 30. I worked for Tom, and he fast became not only a friend, but a great mentor of mine. Kenny was my dad's brother, and it, it has been a long time since he's been gone. My angel hero, Uncle Tom, who through grit and dignity, he fought through a very difficult time. October of 1987 was the very first display of the quilt. The quilt is, is comprised of panels that are three foot by six foot. There's a reason for that. That's the size of a grave. We were being activists, and we were going to throw down our dead in front of the White House and show them this is how much space it would take. When are you going to do something? And that's where the core of the, the strength of the quilt comes from, that these are individuals um, that take up space. But in the very early days, there was a lot more anger um, involved in the making of the panels. And then the panels themselves changed even. Um, they became more of a memorial, more of a celebration. It really has been an extraordinary project. I mean, it's, it's bigger than any of us, right? Having a chance to bring this opportunity to our employees and let them honor their own loved ones by putting a panel together, uh, that just really called to me. And I think many of the volunteers who have worked on this project would agree. I mean, we've had over a hundred people step up and volunteer. It means a lot to my family and myself to be able to, you know, honor him and the hero that he was while he battled, you know, um, through living with HIV. It's made me feel very supported. You know, it's something that I always kind of struggled being open about. This was a very formative time in my life, like not only having him in my life, but then losing him as well. We all lose people, but the way that we keep their memory alive is, is special and it, it keeps them living in a way. He may have been a statistic at that time, but the love and the care that we have for him is to me now coming together being able to see his name on the AIDS quilt, knowing that he was a part of what has now become history of there is hope for life. This process has allowed the stigma to be removed from the disease. When my sister passed, we weren't allowed to talk about it. We had to say it was cancer. And so now being able to honor her and remove the stigma is truly a healing process in itself because Gilead is very inclusive. Um, the ability to not only bring our authentic selves, but bring those that allow us to be our authentic selves in the past in a way to honor them. And by honoring them, acknowledging us and the value that we bring as employees. Um, remarkable.